Good day guys, my name is Rosabu. Welcome back again to another video. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for watching. I really think that you guys watching these videos with me is helping me through a lot, you know? Everyone who's commenting on the comment section, helping me to understand the religion more. I'd like to say thank you guys a lot. You guys are not only helping me, but you're also helping those who might watch my videos and they're not Muslims, you know? Being curious. You know, I don't know anyone who was told not to be curious to find out new information. The title of the video itself is a bit disturbing, but I don't know what I'm gonna find out, but... <sighs> Let's go, <laughs> let's go. So the old man gave it to her and he cohabited with his daughter-in-law by the roadside and made her pregnant and she bore twins, Fares and Zara. There's a long detail about it, long story. Very spicy, reading. I'm a detail. I didn't know at one time that all these things were in the Holy Bible. I was looking for the other books, you know, called The Arabian Nights, the unexpurgated edition by Fitzgerald. And I got it and I read it, you know. But I didn't know that for two and six, 25 cents, I could have got the Bible and I could have got something more spicy than in the Arabian Nights. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, man. You must know. You see? So, 10 cases of incest in the book of God. Book of God, for, for what purpose is God telling you all this? That father and daughters, father-in-law and daughter-in-law, brother and sister, son and mother. For what reason? Why is he telling you all this? Mm. Now, the type of stories that you read naturally creates the type of mentality that you have. True. This I is believe a foregone that. thing. If you eat junky foods, you become a junkie. If you read filthy, dirty stuff, your mind becomes filthy and dirty. What you are seeing, reading, you act it out. Mm. True. That is how pornography works. So, in this holy book, there is a beautiful chapter. The highest form of pornography that you can think of. In my country, my government banned extracts from the Bible. A very strange government, very Christian. Of okay. course, you know, it has this unjust policy of apartheid, but religiously, it's one of the most religious communities of the Christians in the world. You know, some of the things that I can buy here, your Playboy magazine and something else like that from Kennedy Airport or from Chicago, I land in South Africa and I go to jail for two years. That was strict my government is. It was harsh back then. Very Christian -like in his morality. And still is. Ethics. Now, somebody had published a pamphlet with nine extracts from the Holy Bible, without adding, without deleting anything. Nine extracts from the Holy Bible. And this was sent, somebody sent it to the Publications Board, and the Publications Board declared this undesirable, means banned. Wow. And there were two priests on the board when they banned this. But these poor priests, they didn't know that it was from their own holy book. They didn't know it. Can you imagine? Verses from the Bible, nine extracts banned. My country, for one word, a one four-letter word, they had banned a book called Lady Chatterley's Lover. One word, one offensive word. For 20 years, the book was on the banned list. They have rebanned it. Now they've grown up now, more mature. They said, now, I think the people are mature enough to read it. The one word. <laughs> Here are nine extracts which are undesirable. We say, on the same basis, you should ban the Holy Bible. But of course, you know, they, they live by it. They take an oath by it. So it's very, very difficult. But they have done the job. They've given it to us that this is undesirable. Pornography of the highest order. George Bernard Shaw, a British playwright, he says... It is the most dangerous book on earth. He said, keep it under lock and key. Your children must not have access to it. Wow. The wow. The Truth magazine, you know, the Armstrong family here, American, American. They are printing 8 million and 80 thousand a month for free distribution. The Armstrong family, plain truth. They, in one of the magazines, they say that many a censor will give this Bible an X rating. Cross. Many a censor. What? Book of God. Is it the book of God? I dare any Christian, I said, come, come forward and read it to your audience, to your, to your congregation. Read it. 
No decent man can read it to his mother, his sister, his daughter, or even to his fiancée if she's a good woman. You can't read it. If God Almighty was not ashamed to reveal such filth and dirt, I'm asking why should you be ashamed? Are you holier than God? Can you ever be holier than the Almighty? Can you be? That's what it means. If God spoke those things, wrote those things, dictated those things, which I dare not read it to you, book of God, book of God, that you are ashamed to utter to your congregation. He says, no. So there are cases and cases, you know, from his own writings, which we can prove that, look, this is not the book of God. I can agree with Ahmed Dita to some point. I think they always read the good stuff, you know? They always read the stuff that uplifts people. They always stick to the stuff that is good and sounds good. I'm sure even the churches, they always, they don't go through a series where there was war and everything. And like he said, the stuff that are burned in the Bible, you know, so I think it's right. That's a big book, man, with many books inside. I am currently looking at it right now. I have it. It's right in my shelf. It's not next to the Quran, but it's right in my shelf. The Qurans are on their own. The Bible is up there by its own. That is a huge book. I always believe people should have a judgment to... You know, like, let me make an example, guys. This might be far-fetched, but I always believe that... And I've used this example before. You know when you're growing up and you're told when you cross the road, you must look both sides and make a decision to cross the road. I feel like everyone should have a number of religious books. Read them, you know. Research, read them. You don't have to compare them. Just read them. Read them and make a decision. It's good to have both. Don't say that I will not read the Bible because there's nothing there for me, you know. Read the Bible. You know, read what other people are thinking, are talking about their beliefs, you know, read. I think it's best to read. I guess some Christians, maybe I'm wrong, but I stand to be corrected. I guess some Christians don't even bother to even buy a Quran, just to read it, just to read the Quran, you know. Imagine reading the same book all your life and not bothering about other books because you are scared that they might tell something different from your book. I believe in looking both ways and make a decision, guys. Beautiful video and please, guys, leave a video down below. Let me know what you think. The most important thing is that you guys comment down below. Please like this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and please join me on the next one. Peace.